I remember one night us and Dr. King and C.T. Vivian and Ralph Abernathy, I think C.T. Vivian and Dr. and Andrew Young, about the only ones that still living now, because all the rest of them died. But um, I remember one night we were marching, and so we went down to uh, well, well, we went down to um, on Cordova Street, because it's a, a, a um, Casa Monica that's on the corner of Cordova and and, and King Street. When we rounded that corner. The demonstrators came and they just attacked us. But see, Dr. King, he was nonviolent. You could not fight back. And so I remember we were around at that corner. There used to be a barbershop there called Price's Barbershop. And when we were around at that corner, I remember Dr. King, they were just beating him or it was something. And uh, so several other nights we went down there marching. And so a lot of times they would meet us down there. And Andrew Young, he got beat a lot of the People got beat, and so it was one lady. She was a good bit older than us, and so she lived on uh, North City, on uh, Bernard Street. It was called North City. And so anyway, we came after we would have the march. We'd always go out to come back to the church, and we would tell about what happened. You know, this particular night when we all got back. I mean, and she was a, a short, kind of tiny, real petite lady. When she came back, her eyes were, but it had beat in her face. Her eyes was out like that. They looked just like eggs. But we would come, but we would pray before we went to the march and we would pay when we got back. 